If you want something in life, help others get it. You'll get it. How's that? If you want something in life, facilitate for others and Allah will facilitate for you. You want to be protected from a vice, help others be protected from it. Be concerned about it. Allah will protect you and your loved ones. So if you are a person facilitating the marriages of others, Allah will help you in your day. Allah will help you facilitate for you. Mashallah. But if you are a person blocking things for others, don't you think Allah is going to block you also? It's coming. And you might wonder why? Why is this happening? But every time someone else's goodness came, you were quick to put a spoke in the wheel or a spanner and you were quick to actually block things and stop things for others. You couldn't see goodness for others. You think Allah is going to allow yourself to see goodness for yourself? It's not going to happen. And by the way, my brothers, my sisters, divorce is not necessarily a bad thing. And a person who is divorced sometimes could be way beyond those who might never have been married. It's there. It has happened because sometimes it's not your fault as such. And sometimes you might have been through an issue and you've learned so much that you are such a lovely changed person. There it goes. Why do I say this? Because another type of a loss is when people regarding their own children or their brothers or anyone whom they are in the guardianship of perhaps they block you or anyone from getting married to a person who might be divorced who might be widowed why no we won't allow that but Allah allows it no, it's okay but the Prophet ﷺ only did that it's okay we won't allow okay you may have succeeded in blocking it, but I tell you what, you pay a price, not today, after 20 years. You pay a hectic, heavy price. Why? Let it be. Is it permissible? Is it okay? It's, it's not always going to be so smooth and beautiful. No. You won't always get a perfect fit. None of us here are perfect. Sometimes the standards are so high of our family members that you know what? There's no such person in existence. I remember a few years ago, someone came to me and says, Hey, you know, I, I need my, if you, if you know anyone, I have a daughter and you know, we want to get her married. I said, you know what, please let me know what type of a person you're looking for. And mashallah, he rattled it out. How beautiful. I said, my brother, when your eyes close and you go to Jannah, I'm sure you'll find someone there. <laughs> you know what you're describing. Because in this world, you can't really find one with everything. You have to compromise a few things. A few things you have to compromise. Subhanallah, because you're going to tell me some of the men are the same. You, you're looking for someone who doesn't exist. 